Hey guys, I'm Scott Bertsall. I'm here at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, and I'm going to show you my Amsoil LMP1. So this is based on a CG Superlight LMP1, which is uh, a copy of the Cadillac LMP1 that uh, ran Le Mans. So the engine in this car is a three liter VM Matori turbo diesel, and that's built by Freedom Racing Engines and Fleece. It uses dynamite diesel EDM injectors, special setup just for Pikes Peak. Compound turbocharged. This uses a Garrett G3770 for the uh, high pressure turbo, and it uses a Garrett G45 1125 for the low pressure turbo. And then we use uh, twin tile sport uh, waste gates on that to control all the boost. And it makes about 600 horsepower and almost 800 pound feet of torque. Um, and that is, that is highly detuned right now. So this thing is capable of well over 900 horsepower. 6XD billet sequential transmission, RTS uh, quick change axle. You look in here, it's a aluminum monocoque safety cell with an FIA rally cage around it. So I feel pretty safe in it, as safe as you can feel up here. See, it's got a say belt containment seat in there, uh, Bosch Motorsport ECU. Not a whole lot of room in here, but it's, you know, it's, it's enough to turn a steering wheel and get down the racetrack. Suspension, uh, it's got Moton suspension, uh, three-way dampers on it. Rotiform billet wheels. These are one-piece forged billet wheels. Uh, they're 18 by 12 in the front and 18 by 13 in the rear. And then we use a special uh, prototype slick made specifically for Pikes Peak from Toyo. A big part of Pikes Peak is traction. And the Toyo prototype slicks, nice and sticky, get a lot of mechanical grip from the chassis, but you really need like aerodynamic grip here. Um, and Le Mans cars are like pure aerodynamic grip. A lot of things you'll notice about the car is it has a really small frontal area. My feet are about two inches under the bodywork here. Um, Big front splitter, big vents to let all the air out of the uh, inside of the fender well so you don't have a high pressure area. Um, the sides of the car, it's all a big tunnel to get the air out of the back and it all exits out of here and back here. And then we, we've also cut some extra holes uh, like this. This is uh, to let the uh, radiator vent a little more. And then you can see how the cowl there swoops down into the into the cowling on the uh, body there. It does that to create a low pressure system behind the car so the diffuser can work. And it's got a big giant diffuser here. We got a twin element APR wing here. It's all made to keep the thing down on the ground. This car is incredible to drive. Um, you're going so fast because of, you know, you've got so much mechanical grip and then after you get back past the aero bubble, you get into the aerodynamic grip, it's just insane. It's super fun, but it's also terrifying at the same time because you're, you're going really fast on a mountain with no like safety barriers and there's cliffs and there's boulders and trees and smoky is super fun to drive, but this is like on another level. You have to train your brain for what this thing is capable of. So overall, I'm really happy with the platform. There's a ton of room to grow in this thing. I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's capable of.